Scorpios, welcome. This is your heart spread reading, mid-January 2022. This is a love, romance, and relationship reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Whatever you think is significant for you. This is an eight-card reading. I'm reading you and the one that's most on your mind. Now you're coming in with the Ace of Pentacles energy. That's your energy in and around love and relationships. Uh, Scorpios and your person here is coming in with the Four of Wands energy. That's their energy in and around love and relationships. And I should say that the lovers is on the bottom of the deck here. So um, and this is the Gilded Classic Tarot deck, by the way. My oldest deck, the Robita. I, I love it. Like old comfortable pair of jeans. But, uh, so, you know, I just had the feeling that this started maybe as an affair. Um, it started probably uh, passionately, suddenly. There's definitely this love kind of energy to it. Um, I do think your person is somehow involved in uh, perhaps the building of. I always see the ones as actions, and the four ones is the happy family, but it's the building of um, the happy family. And... Probably they had someone on their mind as you came into the picture. But I think when, when you have the Ace of Pentacles as your energy in and around love relationships, I try to separate it from your person yet. And this is kind of just where you're at, that Ace of Pentacles. Um, you're uh, being real with yourself. Uh, you're ready. You're responsible. Uh, you're capable of committing. I mean, this is saying if you're single. If this is an ongoing relationship, this could be a a situation where uh, this is a relationship where you've been building this long-term committed relationship for marriage, you know. So then go back kind of intuitively with what I'm saying to maybe when you first met, because I tend to pick up on the energies of when you first meet to kind of see what's going on here. But uh, it's great to go from the Ace of Pentacles to the Two of Cups. I mean, if there's a cross watcher, um, this Scorpio could not be more serious about you. I mean, <clears throat> to me, the lovers here is the overall energy. Kind of describes how this relationship might have come about, you know. Um, sexually, uh, fair, uh, illicit. I mean, we got the Venus on Pluto energy banging, and it's there for a bit. It's going to be at least, you know, the rest of the month or more, and stuff like this is happening if this is recent. And if it's not, then it comes up here. Um, so you're all in, and you just want to give them your cup. This is how you feel about them straight up. This is how they feel about you. I mean, what a difference. You know, there's the Two of Cups to the Seven of Cups right here. Um, this is a uh, way they're reacting to you is they're not sure. They're definitely not sure. Um, now that doesn't mean they're not into you, but the seven of cups is also emotional. So I would say there's been passion. You're having the feeling like this is the one I'm all in. Um, they're, I don't know, a little bit startled energy. This could be emotion, some emotional turmoil. Um, you know, I think maybe on their part it maybe would surprise you that kind of maybe deep down they went into your, this relationship at least at the beginning in with this lover's energy uh, less on their minds than the long-term committed relationship part can I say and that's why they're showing up here as emotionally this is just like the opposite of the two of cups two of cups is like I'm all in I love you I want to make a life with you I'm telling you I love you uh how do you feel? And they say, I need a minute. I don't know. I'm not really sure. And you kind of know what that means. It's it's tricky energy. Now, I don't know. What gives this hope to me? This is the uh, advice from spirit for your person, how best to deal with this relationship. And then this is your advice for how best to deal with the relationship. The five of swords. And I just want to say, uh, this is the advice from spirit. Uh, is really telling you to argue with this person, to argue your case with this person. Um, and it, it's a really strong energy. Let me um, clarify this. Wow. Transformation, death. I'm clarifying this advice from spirit, this five of swords. 
uh, because uh, the Spirit doesn't normally, in my opinion, uh, tell you to argue. Normally, I, if I see this, I might read it, oh, well, don't argue, or arguing is a problem. But no, I really think it's something you need to be very direct about. You know it's going to cause a fight, um, and it's going to bring a, an end to something. And it could be the end to a transformation, guys. I mean, it's your card, so... Uh, clarifying advice from spirit I think is very important here's the three most important cards here their advice from spirit for them their advice from spirit for you and for the relationship as a whole and this is where it gets interesting because look <clears throat> maybe uh, negative thinking can be five of uh, swords often there's a reason it's something that really seriously needs to be addressed straight up like and you know it's not going to be fun it, but just use something you need to do but there's like a promise that comes with it um and this is with these cards too this is where free will comes in you don't have to choose to do this i get the feeling you would do because you're coming so sincerely 100 percent there in the moment thought about it ace of pentacles too is like You've thought about it. You know you're ready for a relationship. You know you're mature, etc. Two of Cups, you're 100% in. There's no facilitation on your part, right? Um, so what they need is stability. They need to kind of match that. And that's what their advice from spirit is for your person. If they're cross-watching or share this with them, I'd love for you to share these readings uh, with your person. See If they resonate, it seems like that would be like a wonderful use, but... Uh, the Nine of uh, Pentacles is perfect here because it's coming under the Seven of Cups. And it's like trying to tell them to uh, settle in for the long run. And it, basically it's okay. It, with Advice of Spirit being Nine of Cups, it's, it's to go on. It's to be in it, to win it. It's implying that there's going to be some kind of long-term energy. It's implying work. So... It's like you're going to have to really have it out with them. And then they're going to have to make the choice when you have it out from them, with them, um, to so basically sign on, be all in. That might be when this ends. Like, they're going to basically be, after they listen to you, they're going to say, I think that's how it's going to go, uh, if in case you're worried. But I think you really need to say your piece. Like, everything, exactly, no matter how... Uh, terrible it might feel to you or even them like this is where spirit's telling you, you need to get this out in the open and then they make a decision to say okay i get it now this is gonna take a bit you know and but it's worth it and i'm in, i'm gonna be in this i'm gonna take action now positive action real work to build a relationship and this is the advice for the relationship as a whole this is the crooks of the heart spread here the eight of pentacles of even the most positive cards in the deck it represents personal energy uh, doing what is necessary doing good work uh, in in a relationship with both of you in this energy i mean you you cannot fail but what it says to me is like you really need to work now and yeah, this is the core of the heart here you're really going to need to work on this relationship together it, it, it applies to be a period of eight months makes sense you know could even be eight years comes in as you look back <clears throat> maybe or something uh if it's an existing relationship but um it's not whatever's going to go on between you guys it's uh, not going to happen right away let me clarify that uh Ace of Wands is happening right away. So after you have this talk, I mean, there's going to be, uh, this is the advice of spirit for relationship as a whole. So it, there's going to be a powerful sexual passion and union that comes and actually goes nicely with uh, up here, the Seven of Wands, which is the outcome. And don't let this worry you. This is the righteous defense of the castle, okay? So I can almost see how this is going down. It's like once you guys come together, uh, you're going to have to take action uh, on your own behalf in righteous defense of your castle. So possibly from both sides of the aisle, uh, your person's people, as it were, significant others in their lives, possibly for you. Um, 
you may have flak and you may need to basically defend yourselves here. Um, <clears throat> I don't see any reason like there's any kind of danger or anything. <clears throat> it's more defend yourselves, uh, defend the relationship to some degree, stand together, you know, in the relationship. I'd be interested to know in your, if you're playing along, uh, if you know your composite chart with this person, Scorpio, uh, if you don't have like maybe a first house sun in your composite, you know, something like that, Aries ascended in your composite, Aries uh, sun, maybe, that kind of thing. So, I hope you get something out of this. It's helpful in some way, Scorpio. Do give me a like if you don't mind. Help get this out more and the algorithm a little jog. And if you haven't subscribed, please do and hit the bell. Um, Thursdays, always Libra and Scorpio Day. Thank you, guys.